Afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Atlanta Braves and the New York Yankees. Yankees baseball comes your way next. A.J. Burnett is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this ought to be fun to watch in this one here today. A guy with over 2,000 career strikeouts. Think about it. He knows how to get swings and misses, and he knows how to paint the corners. Hopefully, he'll bring some of that in this one here, and he should be fun to watch. Coming to the plate now, Ronald Acuna. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Ronald Acuna, Jr. First pitch of the at-bat. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. First pick, one o'clock. Now the 1 0. And now this misses as well as he's behind the leadoff man this afternoon. 2 0 now. And the pitch. 2 and 1 to count. Here it comes. Hit on the ground toward the left. Turner fields it cleanly. Throw just does get him at first as he was really moving that time. That is second. The first stop. Francisco Lindor. Standing in, Francisco Lindor. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Aye. Very nice afternoon. High skies and 77 degrees at game time. One out. Nobody on. Sinker down around the knees gets the called strike. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. And another foul ball. The next 0 2. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Now a fastball. Oh, strike three called on a pitch that looked inside. Instead, it's out number two. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take. But on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Into the box, Chipper Jones, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound. And to check swing and not chase that one, puts himself right back in the count. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Trout. A dive and he brings it in. And on a fantastic play, the inning is over. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on the show. Tom Glavin is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Braves. 
What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this ought to be fun to watch in this one here today. A guy with over 2,000 career strikeouts. Think about it. He knows how to get swings and misses, and he knows how to paint the corners. Hopefully, he'll bring some of that in this one here, and he should be fun to watch. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Not shortstop. Now here's the pitch. Hey! Heading out towards shallow right. Sheffield is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Batting second. The right fielder. Mickey Mantle. So stepping in. Mickey Mantle. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Glavin has pitched more than 4,000 innings in the big leagues and hangs an ERA just a little over three and a half. A one pitch on its way. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. And Andrew will roam over and put this one away for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that brings up Mike Trout. Here's the first pitch to him. That's inside. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit, you understand that he's got his own zone. Uh, you touched on it, d -Roy. I think he rewards the veteran players, not only pitchers, but position players. He makes the younger players. He makes them earn their keep. Ball, two balls two and a strike. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carrying. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. Let's go, New York. He's fallen Ooh, behind now, back. three and one. Pretty good pitch right there, fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Ground ball left side. Fielded cleanly. And they will get. No, he's in there. A very close play at first. So frustrating, Dero. You make a good pitch and you get these guys that can run around and they're fast. You think you have an out and all of a sudden it turns into an infield single. Yeah, this is definitely part of his game, the ground attack, Dan. He's a speedster. He's going to get a ton of infield singles and he knows how frustrated that pitcher is. In now is the Yankees' D.H., Lou Gehrig. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but any time you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope, that's a ball. Count one and over. The 1 0. Hot shot on the ground is short. Over to Albies covering at second, and that'll do it. We've played an inning. No score here on the show. Now batting, Gary Sheffield. He'll start things out in the top half of the second. Number 10, Gary Sheffield. The pitch. All one, no play. Sheffield. A 27-year-old. It's been in the big leagues for over two decades now. That kind of longevity is extremely rare in just about any sport. And it's great to see. 
Yeah, there, there's just no other way to slice it but the fact that if you're going to hang in for over two decades, you're probably Hall of Fame worthy, or at least have accrued the numbers to get you there. I mean, for people to stay in the game that long, the amount of adjustments you have to make and the ability to find a way to stay on the field, to go to the post and stay healthy for over two decades is mind-blowing. Stepping in now, Fred McGriff. And so take a look at ball one. Sheffield on at first, nobody out. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. and Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. And it's fouled away. Swing and a ball sliced, fouled into the seats down the left field line. He's set. Here's the 2-2. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Grounded to third. This could be two. LeMay Hugh for one. On to first, and they get the double play. That's a great example there of why the sinker is such an effective pitch. The hitter's eyes see it higher in the zone than it ends up, and that makes it real tough to square up. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing in AL ballparks. All of a sudden, the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at-bats or time in the field. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Nope. Just off the plate and high, ball one. I got a ball, one strike. The 1-1 one, one. is a That's fastball ball, down below the knees. A lot of pitches away here, which is pretty much what you're forced to do with lefty batters here at Yankee Stadium. It doesn't take much to hook one out of here to right field with that short porch out there. The 2-1. This is to right field and deep for Freeman. Mantles on the move, still going back. And a scaling attempt to the wall, but it'll be in vain because this ball is gone. A solo home run off the bat of Freddie Freeman. As the Braves get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heat. The base is loaded, the side is retired. Braves get a run on the Freeman home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now 1 0 Atlanta. So striding in, Aaron Judge set to lead off the home half of the second. First pitch of the at bat. Skied into straightaway right. Sheffield has it, and it's a quick out number one. The first base John Mattingly. 
Stepping into the box, Don Mattingly, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Pitch on the way. Oh, and one, here it comes. And it's one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Grounder down the line at third. A dive, but he can't make the play, and it's down the left field line. And he'll get in there safely. So some real problems out there that time as it'll wind up an E7. To the plate now, Jorge Posada. As the first pitch to him is a changeup, but can't find the zone. It's ball one. Posada tends to exploit left-handed pitching. Many hitters are better against opposite-handed arms, of course, but he's considered one of the best hitters in baseball in these types of matchups. 2-0 now. From the stretch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Jones calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Now at the plate, DJ LeMayhew, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. One out. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. One and one. Here it is. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Acuna's there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. No runs on one base hit. One error in the inning, and a man left on. We play two full. Atlanta leads it one to nothing. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. No swing on the knuckle curve, even at one and one. From the stretch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Leaps and he made the catch. He took one out of the stands. Santa Maria. That was a pretty spectacular catch right there. A lot of guys mistimed that jump because they're worried about the wall coming on. But he got it just right and hauled it in. Great stuff. But they hold a 1 0 lead. Into the box, Torres. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The third baseman, Weber. Now here's the pitch. Now he extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. This guy's not wasting any time, right? Gets a first pitch fastball, and he flies out deep on the first pitch of the inning. Here now is Trey Turner. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now the pitch. 
up there. One out, nobody on. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Not even close with the 1-0. He needs to get back in his zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. And look out. That might have got him right in the chest. Thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. Well, this is certainly something you never want to see. Perhaps the silver lining here, if there is one, is that that got him in the non-throwing arm. So if he had to work his way through this, he probably could. Assuming, of course, that there's nothing broken in there. And I think he is indeed planning to give it another go. Settling in now, Mickey Mantle. He flew out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Sheffield is there, and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're down one nothing. Stepping up to the plate, Mike Trout is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Here comes the first pitch. In there, strike one. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits, so his command has been pretty solid so far. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Lou Gehrig. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Fouled off. Hey, last two pitches back-to-back -back off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Here's the 1-1. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it 2-1. and one. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Nobody out, runner on first. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, two and two. Throw over to first, and he's back in standing. Here now the 2-2. It is laid off and the count runs full. Defense has got to be on their toes right here. 3-2 count. Runner on first has got some serious wheels. You know he's probably being put in motion. Got him. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. Pitch outside the throw. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. 
hit hard on the ground is short. And that is through in the left field, a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. This is their time right here. This starting pitcher has been on point all day. Runs have been at a premium. They have an opportunity to do something special right here. Don Mattingly will bat next as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. He's been really effective in this one so far. But it's interesting here that with a couple of guys on base, he seems to be not trusting his stuff quite as much. Kind of messing around the strike zone a little bit. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Slider misses, and he's in danger of losing him here, three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Into the corner and slicing foul. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. In now, Jorge Posada. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. And they're runners at the corners now. Posada will lay off there. It's back to one and one. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Two and two now. Hit in the air to center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Yanks strand a pair. It remains 1-0. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Ronald Acuna. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. Oh. The pitch. Ball three. Not the way you'd like to start this fifth inning, falling behind 3-0 and oh on the count. It's about time he starts throwing some strikes. Pitch on the way. And nope, that won't possible. find the zone either. So speed on base here to begin the inning. It's a four-pitch walk. He's really struggled with his command in this game. No doubt about it. But to make things worse, he just lost one of the fastest guys in the ballpark. So here's Francisco Lindor now. One for two on his line so far in the game. Matty, he checks every box. Charisma, smile. Hits from both sides of the plate with pop, defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. One ball, no strikes to count. Now a throw over by Burnett, and he just manages to get his hand in. A runner at first with no outs here. Runner goes for second. In there. Now the throw. 
It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitchers don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Three balls and a strike to the Atlanta shortstop. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. And this pitch misses here as well. Back-to-back -back walks now, but at least that'll put the force back in order here. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Now with the plate, Chipper Jones. And if you remember, he was robbed of a home run earlier after an outstanding effort in the outfield. Yeah, I'd like to see him put a ball in the gap or maybe drive something out of the yard because he's going to have nightmares about that defensive gem laid on him last A.B. Ball one to start the at-bat. The 1-0. It's a fastball that misses. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. 3-0 and oh now. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. First and second here with nobody out. And that misses. Nope. Ball four. And he's going to need to settle down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble. It was obvious when the count ran to 2-0 oh, that they were not yeah. going to give this guy yeah. anything to hit. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, and they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. So here's the cleanup hitter, Gary Sheffield. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First offering on its way. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Pitcher on the mound has to find a way to minimize damage right here. Got to believe he's willing to trade two outs for a run. Tight spot. Bases loaded. Nobody out. In the dirt, but good hands back there by Posada as he's able to pounce on it quickly. Double-barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. Sign from Posada. Now the one and one. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Even count. Two balls and two strikes. Bases loaded here. Nobody out. Hit high and deep to right center. On the move is Trout. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And this will get in there too late. He's in there at third. Man, this is a spot where you really want to get greedy as a hitter. Bases loaded, nobody out. You're hoping for that big swing of the bat. What does he get? A sacrifice fly, and only one run scores. I'm sure he wanted more, but he's not going to complain about the RBI. Into the box now, Fred McGriff. A hit and two tries for him so far. First pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. Come on, Yankee! Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0-2. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. Sinker misses, and it's 1-2 and two now. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. 
He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. All right, no more hoping he's going to chase. It's 2-2 two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. Speed pitch, and there is strike three called. And boy, that zone just got a bit larger, two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in a pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Here's the first pitch to him. Freddie Freeman stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. Chopped at the plate. And he'll be tagged out heading toward the plate. And with that, the inning is over. Braves will settle for just the one. Last half of the fifth coming up. Braves lead this one 2-0. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he stressed to me was the need for them to have better at-bats when they've got runners on base. With just one hit with runners in scoring position in the game, you can understand why he feels that way. But he also says he likes the way his guys are responding to the adversity. It seems as though they're keeping their energy and mood up. So we'll see if they can start coming through with some big hits as we go forward. Leading off. All, All right, Mayhew. thanks, Heidi. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. It'd be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Nope. And they'll start him with a fastball that's low for ball one. Hit hard to the right but foul. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Changes up on him if that's in the dirt for a ball. Hit the other way out toward right field. Sheffield is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. Now batting, third baseman, So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Here comes the first pitch. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Hit weakly on the ground to short. Throw gets him, two down. Now back. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Trey Turner. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly it's been a treat to watch the 1-0 home hit to third oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove and the recovery will not be in time at first and the inning will continue following the infield single the right field Mickey 
Santo. Into the box, Mickey Mantle, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Here's a look over to first, and he'll be back in standing up. Two out with the man at first. Runner. Runners on the move for second. Strike called. Now the throw down. He's well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. So they still haven't picked up an extra base hit in this one, but that stolen base at least gets him a guy in scoring position. Yeah, and I think that's exactly what the manager was thinking there, Matt. Hey, if we aren't driving the ball with any authority today, we need to make something happen in a different way. They only need a single to the outfield now to push a run across. One, two. Misses, ball two. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Two out here and a runner at second. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Yanks leave one. They trail things here two to nothing. Now at the plate, Mike Trout. He'll have the opportunity to kick things off as we begin the home sixth. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Back up the middle, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of the baseball season. Bottom line is, this guy has bat-to-ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. At the plate, Lou Gehrig. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. No hits to this point. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Acuna is there for it. One away. Now back. No left fielder. Aaron. Judge. Here's big Aaron Judge. He's one for two in this one. For the first pitch, a check at first. And he'll get back in safely. He's going, he's set he's going. in the pitch. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Runner at second here with one man out. And there's ball one. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. And he'll try to entice him with the change up here, but it dips below the knees. It's two and two. I think he's shown you right there he was trying to put you away with the off-speed pitch. Have to be leery of that right there and take pull side away. That'll keep you on all stuff, fastballs and the off-speed. Three and two now. Hits are even right now at five aside. side. 
Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. I really liked it. He gave up nibbling out of the zone trying to get him a chase. That wasn't working, so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher than throwing a fastball right by a guy. Standing in now, Don Mattingly, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. This is driven to right, and no doubt about it, that one's way out of here. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as the Yankees have tied things up. It's 2-2. Two to two. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Stepping in now, Jorge Posada. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Behind 0 and 2 now. Bases are empty here with two men out. There to take it is Chipper. Again, another foul ball. One and two to the Yankees catcher. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Now a foul tip held onto behind the plate at strike three, and that ends the inning. Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. The 2-3-4 two, hitters now to start the seventh, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Gary Sheffield. One for two in the ballgame thus far. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hit hard to short. Turner has it. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Off a of one leg in the Ladies hole, falling Ladies away. Ladies that is pure magic. Don't threat. touch that dial or the remote for that matter. More on the show right after this. He got him, and the go-ahead run will be left stranded at second base. So they let him off the hook here by scoring no runs despite the two walks. Home half of the eighth straight ahead, and we are tied 2-2. Bottom of the inning now, next for New York, Mickey Mantle. He went down on strikes last time up. Mickey Mantle. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he looks at the screwball that's over for strike one. Q 
can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Two hits and two trips more in thus far. The 1-0 -oh home. Line drive to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. They talk about having a day. How about three at-bats, three knocks? Not a bad day, d -Row. We used to say in the big leagues, on the bench, anybody can get two. Can you get three? And if you get three, who's on the hook for four? Stepping in and ready for another shot, Lou Gehrig. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. Over to Albies. On to first. Not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. As a look, now the pitch. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Hey, this one's tied late in the game. As a pitcher right now, you just can't lay a cookie in there 1-0. and 1-0 count, the pitch. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Watches this one in there for a high strike. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Don Mattingly would be next if they can keep this inning alive. The set and the 3 1 pitch. There's the big breaking ball, and it's by him for a strike. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Swing, and oh my, hit him with the hein! And as Yankees fans here on television quite frequently, see ya! Rise, Aaron Judge, a two-run shot, and it'll give the Yankees a four-to-two lead. That's a big time bomb right there. It's about time now for the closer to get ready and slam the door on this one. To the plate now, Don Mattingly. John Mattingly. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. 
So far, two for three in this one. Skied into very shallow right. Sheffield is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. The Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. Last chance coming up here for the Braves. It's now four to two New York. Mariano Rivera takes the ball now in inning number nine looking to close the door. Number 42. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. He'll be charged with trying to get on board leading off the ninth. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. And it's fouled away. Pitch on the way. Popped him up. Mattingly is there. Makes the play one away. Now batting. Shortstop. Francisco Lindor. Ready now. Francisco Lindor. He's working on a one for three thus far. First offering on its way. And a ball 1-0. Rivera is pretty much a manager's dream coming out of the bullpen. High strikeouts, doesn't walk a lot of batters, usually a recipe for a lot of success. Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build the perfect relief pitcher, you'd want a guy that throws a lot of strikes, that minimizes the base on balls, and nobody does it as good as this guy does right now in the game of baseball. Count now a ball and a strike. Sign from Posada. Now the one and one. Taken but called for strike two on the outer part of the zone. A bouncer to the left side. And a base hit into left field. So they've got themselves a one out base runner. Love the ability to push that ball the other way right there. Nice knock to the opposite field. That's a switch hitter's delight. The ability to use all parts. Into the box. Shepard Jones. A ball and no strikes. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. This is low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. The 2-0 on the way. Line drive to left, and that'll get down for a base hit. Well, Dero, you have to love that if you're a hitter. You get ahead in the count, too. You know, you get a fastball right down the middle, and he sure knew what to do with it. Are you kidding me? You fight tooth and nail to get into count leverage at bats. 2-0, 3-1, 1-0 to buy yourself that fastball middle cut, and he didn't miss it. At the plate, Gary Sheffield as the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. First and second now, one man out. Swing and a miss. Looked like a slider there. A ball and a strike. The 
set and the 1 1 pitch. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. Made him look silly with that one. One two is the cut fastball, but he holds back two and two. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Tried to get him with the cutter, but it's a full count three and two. Fred McGriff will be next. Working for the punch out and the offering. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Full count still. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Swinging a soft liner, but this is pulled in by the shortstop. Now back, the first baseman, Fred Riding in once again, Fred McGriff. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Here's the first pitch to him. And he takes ball one. Looking at his lifetime numbers, McGriff is a great guy to have at the plate in a spot where the long ball would be big. He's got over 400 of them in his career. And he loves the moment. Period, the end. He loves the moment. And this pitcher knows it and knows how many homers he's hit in his career. Don't be surprised if he nibbles in this situation. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. In the air, down the line in left. Heading after it is Judge. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here. Coming through with a big win at home. 4-2 to two, the final score today. New York came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Number 16 is credited with the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasgers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.